Place one pound, 16 ounces, of dried cannabis and one U.S. gal, 3.8 L, of isopropyl alcohol in a bucket. Indica cannabis strains make the best and most effective Ray Simpson oils. When you've added all of your cannabis to the bucket, pour in one gallon, 3.8 L, of isopropyl alcohol. Stir the cannabis and isopropyl alcohol thoroughly. Crush the cannabis with your wooden spoon after you've added the isopropyl alcohol. Continue stirring in circular motions for about 3 minutes or until most of the cannabis dissolves. Drain the solvent from the dissolved cannabis using a cheesecloth. Transfer the cannabis to a bowl and let it sit for about a minute. If no cheesecloths are available, coffee strainers can be used as a substitute. Stir the remaining cannabis and one U.S. gal, 3.8 L, of isopropyl alcohol together. Add one gallon, 3.8 L, more of isopropyl alcohol to the bucket and stir the mixture until at least 80% of the cannabis has dissolved again. Save and store the drained alcohol in the bucket. Drain the solvent from the cannabis again using the cheesecloth. When your plant material is completely separated, throw it away. Pour your drained alcohol into the bucket with the rest of your solvent. Set up a rice cooker in a well-ventilated area. Fumes may emit from the rice cooker as the solvent is dissolved. Because isopropyl alcohol is highly combustible, avoid any and all flames, stevetops, sparks, and cigarettes while ear heating the solvent. Transfer your isopropyl alcohol to the rice cooker. Pour the alcohol into your rice cooker until it is about three quarters of the way full. Close and turn on your rice cooker to 210 to 230 degrees Fahrenheit, 99 to 110 degrees Celsius. Check on the solvent periodically and add more alcohol as it evaporates. Wait until the isopropyl alcohol is about halfway evaporated. Continually fill the rice cooker with isopropyl alcohol to three quarters full. Add a few drops of water, about 10 for every 1 pound, 16 ounces, added, as the solvent evaporates to keep the oil from overheating. Wait until the oil develops a dark color and greasy consistency. When you have added all of the solvent into the rice cooker and it has evaporated entirely, the oil will be the only liquid left in the rice cooker. It will be the consistency of thick grease and have a dark color when the isopropyl alcohol has dissolved. Siphon the oil out with a plastic catheter tip syringe. Dip the syringe into the oil, then slowly pull on the plunger until the syringe is filled with the oil. Remove the syringe from the rice cooker, then cover the top with its plastic tip to prevent spilling. And just 5 to 9 drop of Rick Simpson oil per day for its medicinal effects. Each drop should be the size of one half to one grain of rice. Work your way up from a small drop to a larger drop over several days to several weeks, especially if you have never ingested cannabis before. It takes the average person 3 to 5 weeks to ingest a full dose of Rick Simpson oil. Apply 1 to 2 drops of Rick Simpson oil to the skin via a cream or salve. Mix 1 to 2 drops of the Rick Simpson oil with a skin cream or medicinal salve and rub it on your skin. Apply the cream once a day. Eat the Rick Simpson oil mixed in with food if you don't like the oil's taste. Put between 1 to 3 drops into your favorite food spread and add it to your meal. If you dislike the ingesting of the oil but would prefer to take it orally, a dip or jam can mask the taste. Drop Rick Simpson oil on bandages to treat wounds. If you're applying the oil to a wound for its potential healing properties, apply a few drops of Rick Simpson oil to a gauze bandage. Keep the bandage tightly wound around the wound and change it every three to four days. Seek medical help alongside using Rick Simpson oil. Although Rick Simpson oil is said to alleviate some medical symptoms, it is not a cure-all nor is it an alternative to clinical treatment. Talk to your doctor before adding Rick Simpson oil to your treatment plan and continue to receive regular medical treatment once you begin taking it.